Welcome, class of 2022. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce, recognize, and thank those joining us on stage. Members of the Board of Education, Mrs. Robin Griffin, President. Mrs. Brenda Abelgore, Vice President. Mr. David Cordone, Mr. Tim Crandall, and Mrs. Jennifer Mainville. Also with us are Superintendent Paulino, Deputy Superintendent, Mrs. Jerry Geithner, Chief of Operations and Finance, Dr. Dominic Lisi, Assistant Principal, Mr. Nate Murray, Assistant Principal, Ms. Stevenson, Assistant Principal, Mrs. Richards, Fulton Mayor, Dina Michaels, Mrs. Penny Downing, commencement speaker, and student commencement speaker, Lydia Mervito. There are other school district personnel here in our audience, as well as city and town officials. We thank all of you for taking the time to share this special day with our graduating seniors. Our seniors have invited Mrs. Penny Downing, Mathematics Department Chair, to share this year's opening thoughts. Mrs. Downing? Greetings, Class of 2022. Board of Education members, staff. When many of you entered my classroom four years ago as freshmen, I told you we would be graduating together. Here we are, we've made it. Graduation signifies the beginning of your adult life, but for me, graduation means retiring from a long career that I loved, from a career that gave me satisfaction knowing that I was making the difference in the lives of young people, and from a career that gave me financial independence and a secure future. I grew up on a farm in a poor family, the youngest of 13 children. We ate the food we grew in the garden, picked from the orchards, and raised on the farm. We wore hand-me-down clothes until they were rags, and my mom even made clothes out of feed bags. My parents worked very long days, and I remember only seeing them on weekends for most of high school. Even though we didn't have much money, my parents were proud people. They instilled the value of hard work in me and in my siblings. I knew I wanted a life where I could be financially secure, and for me, the way out of poverty 
was through education. I knew if I went to college, I could find a good job and obtain the financial security that my parents never had. To pay my tuition, I worked three jobs at times while being a full-time college student. That was not easy, but I knew that the hard work would pay off. After college, I interviewed for many jobs unsuccessfully, but I didn't let that disappoint me or deter me. I knew that I was destined to be a teacher, and I would eventually get a full-time job somewhere if I just kept trying. Thanks to Fulton, here I am 28 years later. You will face failures in your life, but don't let them stop you, as it is only from failures that we learn and become stronger. Throughout the years, you have heard so much about, uh, about social-emotional learning and trauma and how it affects your ability to learn and to function. While it may be true that adversity can affect you, it should never cripple you. In my life, I have faced many tragedies. My 16-year-old sister died in a car accident when I was just 10. I lost another sister to a brain tumor when I was 25. My dad to cancer when I was 28. My mom to cancer when I was 30. A brother to an accident when I was 32. Another brother to kidney disease when I was 44. And most recently, my husband last year. I share this with you to help you understand that life is not easy. In life, you will face challenges and tragedies. It's how you react to these challenges and tragedies that will shape the person you become. There were days last year when I did not want to get out of bed or do anything. But with the support of a very dear friend, I forced myself to face each day. I live life one day at a time now, taking nothing for granted. While it will be very important to work hard, don't forget to have balance in your life. Take care of yourself and spend time with the people you love. Enjoy being young. Do things. Go places. You have some of the best days of your life ahead of you. The friendships you've built during your school days are the ones that will last a lifetime. Yes, you might go off in different directions, maybe have a family of your own, maybe move out of town, but you will forever be connected. Cherish these friendships and keep these people close. I have a, a group of five girlfriends that I've known since middle school. We all follow different paths in life, and we did lose touch for a while, but when I needed them, they were there, and they continue to be a very vital part of my life. Your four years of high school were nothing, um, nothing normal. You were faced with learning from home, learning in a socially distanced classroom, and learning independently. You are here because you rose to the challenge Continue your education, whether it's college, the military, or on the job training, so you can learn a skill that will make you a contributing member of society. It will not be easy. Anything worth having never is. You have spent so much of your time in high school on social media, but real life is not what you see on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. Real life is hard work but it's rewarding work. Find something you can be passionate about and give it your all. Being financially independent, knowing that you have no one to rely on but yourself is liberating. Want that for yourself. You can have it if you set goals and you work towards them. If you were in my class, you never heard me utter the words good enough or close enough. Close enough is not good enough. Don't settle for mediocrity. Demand excellence from yourself and from those around you. Don't expect the world to hand you what you want. 
Go out and get it. Be assertive. Be proactive. Be someone who wants more for yourself. Be compassionate. Be kind. Show empathy. And live your life with integrity and honesty. Look in the mirror and be proud of the adult that you see looking back at you. The mission of the Fulton City Schools is to empower students to develop the knowledge and skills to become respectful, responsible, productive citizens who are committed to lifelong learning. As graduates, you have worked towards developing these skills. Now is the time to use them. Some of you will leave our city and some will stay. If you stay, get involved and help make this city an even better place. GRB is a great school, and Fulton is a great community. I am honored to have spent the majority of my career here and feel blessed that I had the opportunity to help shape the lives of thousands of young people. The students in the Fulton City School District have been a huge part of my life, and I will miss you. You live in a wonderful city, in the best country in the world, a country with freedom to do and be whatever and whoever you want to be. Now is your time to get out there, make an impact, and change the world. Congratulations and good luck, class of 2022. Thank you, Mrs. Downing. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate Mrs. Downing on her retirement and personally thank you for your 31 total years of service to our students and families. You have made a difference in thousands of lives. Thank you, Mrs. Downing. It is my pleasure to introduce our school, Mr. Brian Povino to address our graduates. Well, good evening. Members of the Board of Education, colleagues in administration, distinguished members of the faculty, staff, family, friends, and most importantly, members of the class of 2022. Welcome to our 2022 Fulton City School District graduation. It is truly an honor and a privilege to serve in the city. Thank you for sharing these amazing, soon-to-be graduates with us each and every day. Tonight is a celebration of your hard work, dedication, and commitment to excellence in everything you have done and planned to do. Your tenacity and work ethic have driven you to succeed and have brought you to this important milestone achievement. You have been in schools for 13 years, which is approximately 2,340 days. Our school day is approximately seven hours, which is, equates to approximately 16,380 hours of school. Think about that. Add in the hours of studying, homework, and participation in extracurricular activities, the numbers grow significantly to tens of thousands of hours of time. Around the all parents, faculty, staff, and administration who have been here to support you. Thank you so much. This is a very special moment in history. The experiences you've had in school, at home, in the community, and in all phases of your life have contributed to you being here tonight. I would like to acknowledge the hundreds, perhaps thousands of people teachers, coaches, parents, grandparents, extended family members, employees, community partners, etc., who have impacted your lives in so many ways. Every one of those experiences has in some way contributed to how you make decisions, the motivation and drive you bring to, you, to every undertaking, and to your perseverance as you strive to always do your best. To our parents and caregivers, Thank you for your support, guidance, countless rides, presence, and participation at events, logging into systems such as SchoolTool to see how things are going, communication with us, 
and choosing to live in the Fulton City School District so we would have the opportunity to work with your absolutely amazing children. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To our, city, or to our Fulton City School District Board of Education administration, faculty and staff, and community partners, thank you for your hard work, collaboration, and commitment to our students and district. Your efforts are truly make a positive and lasting impact on the lives of our students. Every role in the district provides an essential component that leads to this special day. A special thank you to Mrs. Parkhurst for her years, and of course the paper's going here, one second for her dedicated service and leadership. She has the, had the unique experience of serving at all levels of our district as principal at Avalni Elementary School, the Fulton Junior High School, and G. Ray Bodley High School. Mrs. Parkhurst, you have positively impacted thousands of students as they prepared for the world beyond our schools. Your positive influence will endure long after you have left us. Thank you. The class of 2022 also has the unique experience associated with COVID-19. When I think of this class, the words perseverance and resilience immediately come to mind. You have pre presented challenges and you have forged ahead on your journey. It was not without difficulty, disappointment, or many changes in our course. The following quote from author Maya Angelou sums up how this group of young people has emerged from all those previously unimagined challenges and changes. Quote, I can be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. You are graduating with skills to adapt and work through challenges you may encounter in your future. One of the things that I have learned is that you have to seek information, reach out to and work with your team and make the best decision possible based on what you know at that moment in time. The goal is to strategically stay the course to achieve your goals and vision. E pluribus unum, out of many, one, is the motto that appears on the great seal of the United States of America and represents the fact that a single nation was formed as the result of 13 smaller colonies joining together. Our Fulton City School District vision is to create a learning organization that is the centerpiece of the community, where all are welcomed and held to standards of excellence that foster hope and resilience for the future. To accomplish this vision in our community and in communities across the nation and world, we must seek to understand and respect one another as we live, learn, and work beside one another. Together we are stronger, we can accomplish anything as individuals, teams, neighbors, and communities when we make a collective commitment to a positive outcome, and most importantly, to one another. As you enter the world, as Fulton City School District graduates, be flexible, seek knowledge and understanding, and be proactive in shaping the future in a positive way for yourselves, your families, your neighbors and peers, our local community, our nation, and our world. Let's be here and there for one another. I leave you with a quote someone once, once said, cherish your yesterdays, dream your tomorrows, and live your todays. Congratulations, 2022 Fulton City graduates. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank you, Superintendent Polvino. I am pleased to introduce this year's student who was chosen to address the class of 22 on behalf of her fellow classmates. She is a strong, confident leader who has worked tirelessly with her classmates to provide all of our seniors with high school experiences and memories that will last a lifetime. Her drive and commitment to academia is no other. She has a love for learning. Thank you and congratulations, Lydia Murbito. Thank you, Mrs. Parkers. 
March 13th, 2020. The day that everything changed. It is said that the things you take for granted, someone else is praying for. But we never realized how much we truly took for granted and still do. If you'd have told me that one of the most gratifying experiences of senior year would be coming to school without a mask, I would have thought you were crazy. We fail to realize how much life has to offer and how many gifts, opportunities, and experiences we overlook. Above all, we take each other for granted. Look around you. This is the last time we will be together as a bunch of teenagers in high school ever again. As your life journey continues on to the next chapter, always remember to cherish the moments and the memories from each step along the way. Thank those who have helped you to get to where you are today, whether it be friends, family, teachers, or others. We wouldn't have grown into the people we are without them. Nostalgia is defined as a sentimental longing or wishful affection for the past, typically associated with happiness. When we look back at the past, we tend to remember the good more than the bad, the fun more than the boring, and the wins more than the losses. We all have some memories that we would like to forget, such as mistakes we made in playoff games or playing some out of two notes during concerts. But in the end, our memories make us who we are. Those that stick with you are important, but perhaps we should all take a step back to appreciate the little things that maybe we wouldn't remember otherwise. Maybe instead of only remembering the people that we went to senior ball with or how we looked that night, we should remember how fun it was to all dance together on the dance floor. Instead of just remembering homecoming night, we should remember how fun the Raider Bowl was too. The late famous Swedish DJ Avicii's father once said, one day you'll leave this world behind, so live a life you will remember. Remember the moments we've shared here as Red Raiders, we are only young once, and the memories we make now will shape who we become. Although time is infinite, our time here is finite. Make the most of each day, be mindful, and take advantage of all opportunities you can to learn. It is true that we learn from our mistakes and experiences, but learning from those of others is quicker and easier. Rod Dito, a former baseball coach at the University of Southern California once said, don't make the same mistake once. We can do this by being observant of the world around us so that we can recognize the potential for a mistake and avert it. Similar to how you should be observing others, other people will be observing you. As you move through life, think of the messages that your actions will convey to others, and if these are the messages that you want to send. In life, opportunities are afforded to those who work for them, and determination and grit will go a long way. We don't succeed simply because we happen to be in the right place at the right time. We succeed because we are ready and prepared when the right time and place comes along. Being a valuable asset starts with investing in yourself each and every day. Progress looks different for everyone and will certainly not be linear. Do not let obstacles stand in your way of achieving great things, but see them as opportunities to grow and gain wisdom that will benefit yourself and others. In life, it is the bad times and the low points that allow us to appreciate the good times and the high points. I am excited to experience all the things that life has to offer and I am hopeful that you all feel the same. As you sit here now, think to yourself, what do I hope to accomplish? What makes me unique? Each and every one of you has so much to offer this world, and it is your duty to pay it forward in any way you can. Offer the world not only your mind, but your heart and your spirit as well. It is in these selfless acts that we can come together as a community, reach heights once thought unimaginable, and bring forth creations that were once only imaginable. As you walk across the stage tonight, for all you will accomplish, and be thankful for your time here at J. Ray Bodley. It has been special getting to know you all, and I can't wait to see how far you go. Thank you to the teachers, coaches, my peers that graduated before me, and those who will come after me. You all have made my time at J. Ray Bodley memorable. Lastly, thank you to the class of 2022 for sharing this unique experience with me. It has been something I will never forget. Thank you.
Thank you, Lydia. Mrs. Griffin, on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of G. Ray Bodley High School, and with great pride, I present to you the graduating class of 2022 and ask that you address this year's graduates. Good evening. <clears throat> it's a pleasure to be here, gathered with our graduates, their family, and friends, community members, educators, and my colleagues. Class of 2020, I, I need to start again, I apologize. Class of 2020-22. It is an honor to be here this evening to celebrate your collective achievements. As I contemplated my moment with you, I considered what I did and did not know about you as a group. It became apparent to me that I needed to conduct some research. So I reached out to some people who have known your class for several years. I asked them to share the one word that best described your class. They responded quickly with the words challenged, resilient, tenacious, vibrant, dynamic, resourceful, and versatile. Armed with these thoughts, I considered each word and its definition. I thought about your class and I drew the following conclusions. Your class was challenged by a worldwide pandemic that altered how we functioned on a daily basis. School didn't look the same, activities were limited, testing became more about swabbing than studying and traditions looked different. You responded to the challenges with questions and thoughts, in the end demonstrating flexibility and a willingness to adapt to temporary norms in an effort to come together as a class. I must agree that as a group, you demonstrated resilience. This class is seen to be dynamic. Your positive attitudes and high energy contributed to the success of coming together in an effort to enjoy the activities associated with the school year. Much of that effort was to re be repeated, showing everyone that you are definitely a tenacious group. You never quit. You continued to challenge yourselves and the adults to find solutions to situations that made you unhappy. You showed off your versatility as you quickly adapted to new experiences. You were resourceful, finding clever solutions to a number of annoying issues. Overall, I believe it is fair to say that this class has experienced some unique challenges which you faced with energy, flexibility, and dignity. Now for my word that I think best describes this class, impressive. You have shown the world that you possess the qualities necessary to succeed in life. To quote Anonymous, we were given two ends, one to sit on and one to think with. Success depends on which one you use. Heads you win, tails you lose. It appears that you collectively used your heads and met with success. It is my wish for each of you that you continue to utilize your thoughtful talents and continue to do good. Never lose your ability to adapt and overcome life's inconveniences. On behalf of the Board of Education, I wish you a lifetime of successes. Congratulations, G. Ray Bodley, Class of 2022. Next level course through SUNY Oswego, CCC, OCC, or SUNY ESF, please stand. And finally, would our very first cohort of early college high school students in our information technology program please stand. <laughs> Graduates, congratulations for your dedication toward rigorous study, specialized programs, and for your accomplishments. We now recognize our honor graduate candidates. First, summa cum laude graduates. These graduates have achieved a four-year average of at least 95. Summa cum laude graduates, please stand and remain standing.
Next, magna cum laude graduates. These graduates have achieved a four-year GPA of 90 to 94.9. Magna cum laude graduates, please stand and remain standing. And finally, cum laude graduates. These graduates have achieved a four-year average of 85 to 89.9. Would our cum laude graduates please stand and remain standing. Congratulations, students, on this achievement. This is evidence of your drive and desire to learn. You may be seated. And finally, I take this opportunity to recognize our faculty and staff. Thank you for your dedication and investment with our graduates. GRB faculty and staff, please stand. Without further delay, Mrs. Love, would you please prepare the candidates to receive their diplomas? Mrs. Parkhurst, on behalf of Mr. Perry and myself, it is our honor to introduce the Red Raider class of 2022. First up, Jonah Apt. Jonah will be joining the Electrical Union. Jose Aguilar will become an asbestos abatement engineer. Anthony Alfano will be joining Public Works. Nicholas Allen will become a metal fabrication and welding engineer. Jason L. Peter Jr. will be going into the workforce. Quinn Backenstrass. Quinn is the winner of the Oswego County Soil and Water 
Hank Kosselman Memorial Scholarship and will be attending Onondaga Community College. Alexis Barden will be attending SUNY Oswego for early childhood education. Niviana Barden will be going into nursing. Caleb Battelle will be going into the workforce. Tiffany Bean will be going into nursing. Courtney Bednars will be attending SUNY Brockport to become a nurse. Alexa Bell will be attending Cayuga Community College. Michelangelo Bellavia will continue working at Walmart. Zachary Bennett will be attending Cayuga Community College for Culinary Arts. Aliana Bentley will be entering the workforce. Joshua Blackwell Jr. will be entering the construction industry. Ian Blaine will be attending SUNY Polytechnic Institute for Computer Science. Ian is the winner of the Oswego County Autism Task Force Scholarship. Allie Bliss will be entering the workforce. Chloe Bonofsky will be entering an internship at NET and Die Incorporated. Marissa Bowering. Marissa will pursue a career as a flight attendant. Michael Brady. Dalton Bristol will be entering the manufacturing industry. Claire Broderick. Claire will be attending Nazareth College. Claire is the winner of the Fulton Lions Club Harold H. and Mary Dowd Memorial Scholarship Award, the Fulton Rotary Foundation Scholarship, the Fulton Teachers Association Scholarship, as well as the Kiwanis Memorial Award, the Chaz Merritt Culture Award, and the Scott Moreau's Memorial Scholarship. Emily Brown will be entering the workforce. <laughs> Michael Brown. Michael will be entering the funeral services industry. Sierra Buskey. Sierra will be entering the workforce. Kaylee Capaletti. Kaylee will be attending Cayuga Community College for early childhood education. Cole Carsto. Cole will be returning to GRB to further his education. Isabella Carey. Isabella will be attending Lemoyne College to pursue a nursing degree. Lexi Kassler West. Lexi will be entering the workforce. Gibran Kitano Matip. Gibran will be attending Lemoyne College for computer science.
Kelsey Kaza. Kelsey will be attending Genesee Community College for fashion design and merchandising. Kelsey is the winner of the CTE Liverpool Turkey Trot Top 3 Scholarship, the Rosa Papalero Chemist Memorial Scholarship, the Jacqueline Stewart Memorial Award for Achievement in Musical Theater, as well as the Women's Club Fulton Scholarship. Elizabeth Chrisman. Elizabeth will be pursuing a career in cosmetology at the Looking Glass. Madison Clark. Madison will be attending Unity College or SUNY ESF for marine biology. Caitlin Klingerman. Caitlin will be attending SUNY College of Environmental Science for bioprocess engineering. Caitlin is the winner of the Future Business Leaders of America Scholarship. Mackenzie Cohen. Mackenzie will be attending SUNY Oswego for childhood education. Mackenzie is the winner of the CNY Community Foundation Pool Scholarship Award, the Fulton Savings Bank Highest Ranked Scholarship to Oswego State, as well as the Rita C. Rowland Memorial Award. Alicia Collette. Alicia will be attending Cayuga Community College for Nursing. Alicia is the winner of the Fulton Music Boosters Orchestra Scholarship Award. Alyssa Cologne. Alyssa will be entering the workforce. Jaden Conley. Jaden will be attending Cayuga Community College for Social Science. Jaden is the winner of the Robert C. McDonald Memorial Award. Caitlin Cook. Caitlin will be entering the workforce. Noah Cordone. Noah will be attending Cayuga Community College for education. Sean Cornell. Sean will be attending Cayuga Community College for environmental science. Sean is the proud recipient of the Cayuga Community College Presidential Scholarship, the CNY Community Foundation Pool Scholarship Award, as well as a Deanne Neald Memorial Scholarship. Jacob Corradino. Jacob will be attending Cayuga Community College. Caleb Crandall. Caleb will be entering the Electrical Union. Michael Trigo. Michael will be entering the workforce in carpentry. Darren Croson. Darren will be entering the workforce. Olivia Cunningham. Olivia will be attending Cayuga Community College for biology. Aiden DeMars. Aiden will be entering the workforce for HVAC industry. Dylan DeMott. Dylan will be entering the workforce in, in the restaurant industry. Christina Derushi. Christina will be entering the workforce. Dylan Diefenbacher. Dylan will be attending Onondaga Community College for Scientific Engineering. Aaron Digby. Aaron will be attending the Ringling College of Arts and Design for Game Art. Jonathan Dingman. Jonathan will be attending SUNY Geneseo for accounting. Jade Duran. Jade will be joining the military. Logan Downey. Logan will be an electrician in the workforce. Michaela Ellis. Michaela will be entering the workforce working with children with disabilities. 
Michaela Fancet. Michaela will be attending SUNY Delhi for veterinary technician. Mason Ferenzi. Mason will be attending Onondaga Community College for Liberal Arts. Matthew Ferenzi. Matthew will be attending Cuga Community College for Information Technology. Amara Fischel. Amara will be entering the workforce with the YMCA. Megan Flint will be attending the University at Buffalo for biology. She is the proud recipient of the Elks National Foundation Legacy Award, the Fulton Lions Club John Scaringi Memorial Award, the Fulton Rotary Foundation Scholarship, as well as the Fulton Savings Bank Excellence in Accounting Award and Raiders Den Scholarship. Madison Flood. Madison will be attending SUNY Oswego for psychology. She is a proud recipient of the Oswego County Counselors Association Scholarship. Emma Francisco will be attending SUNY Brockport for adolescent education. Emma is the proud recipient of the Fulton Music Boosters Chorus Scholarship Award. Ethan Frank. Ethan will be attending Cayuga Community College for studio art and design. Amy Fife. Amy will be entering the workforce for cosmetology. Quincy Gagnon. Quincy will be entering the military with the Air Force. Tessa Galvin. Tessa will be attending City BOCES to become a licensed practical nurse. Montana Gardner. Montana will be entering the workforce. Kendra Gardner. Kendra will be entering the workforce. Nathaniel Garrett. Nathaniel will be entering the workforce in the culinary. Ashton Gates will be attending Paul Smith for culinary arts. Lydia Gelati will be attending Xavier University for sports management. Seth Godfrey. Seth will be attending the University of Alabama for nursing. Shane Gudermount Reynolds. Shane will be entering the workforce for construction industry. Hannah Grant. And Hannah will be entering school for EMT training. Emma Green. Emma will be attending SUNY Fredonia for history. Jacob Green. Jacob will be attending Cuga Community College for business. Cassandra Greer. Cassandra will be entering the workforce for St. Luke's Nursing Home. Maya Gugula. Maya will be attending SUNY Oswego for business. Abdu Haji. Abdu will be attending SUNY Morrisville for criminal justice. Annika Halligan. Annika will be attending school for EMT training. She is a proud recipient of the Fulton Music Boosters Band Scholarship Award. Quinn Halstead. Quinn will be attending SUNY Fredonia for molecular genetics. She is a proud recipient of the New York State Academic Excellence Scholarship. Rana Harby. Rana will be attending Cuga Community College for Liberal Arts to be a language interpreter. Tristan Haskins. Tristan will be entering the workforce for landscaping industry. Jaden 
Harrington. Jaden will be attending John Jay College of Criminal Justice for Forensic Psychology. Jessica Perlowski. Jessica will be attending the University of Scranton for Kinesiology. Dalton Hines. Dalton will be attending SUNY Brockport for marketing. Ariana Ayanuzi. Ariana will be attending beauty school. Alexis Ingersoll. Alexis will be attending the University of Maryland Eastern Shore for biology education. Alexis is a proud recipient of the Alpha Iota Delta Kappa Gamma Scholarship, the American Red Cross High School Challenge Award, the CNY Community Foundation GRB Scholarship Class of 1953, the George Gaylord Chauncey Scholarship, the Joe Fistic Memorial Elks Club 830 Scholarship, the Fulton County Bank Excellence in World Language Award, the New York State Academic Excellence Scholarship, the Dr. Manjula R. Shaw Fulton Rotary Scholarship, the USBC Gift for Life Scholarship, as well as the Pat Zonovan Memorial Award for New York State of USBC. Alexandra Jaskowiak. Alexandra will be pursuing a career in cosmetology. Mary Jared. Mary will be attending the University of Rochester for biology. Mary is the proud recipient of the Fulton Police Benevolent Association Award, the New York State Academic Excellence Scholarship, as well as the Oswego County Soil and Water Hank Kosselman Memorial Scholarship, and the Brigadier General Dr. Ravindra F. Shah Fulton Rotary Scholarship. Jackson Jodway. Jackson will be attending Lemoyne College for nursing. Caleb Kelly. Caleb will be becoming a massage therapist. Madison King. Madison will be entering the workforce. Paige Kingsley. Paige will be attending SUNY Brockport for broadcast journalism. Paige is a recipient of the Oswego County Soil and Water Hank Kosselman Memorial Scholarship. Paris Cress. Paris will be pursuing a career in photography. Mallory Labarge Amos. Mallory will be working for National Grid. Tyler Ledoux. Tyler will be attending Hartwood College for Public Health and he will swim. Malin Lamana. Malin will be attending Clarkson University for Electrical Engineering. Malin is the recipient of the Fulton Teachers Association Scholarship, the New York State Academic Excellence Scholarship, the Corks Players Directors Award, as well as the Weston Earth Recognition and Community Involvement Award. Yeah. Reagan LePage. Yeah. Reagan will be attending SUNY Oswego for mass communications. Reagan is the winner of the William and Catherine Johnston Best in Children Memorial Award, the Dave Lennon Scholarship, the Chaz Merritt Community Spirit Award, as well as the William E. Miller Memorial Scholarship, the Marsha Orcas Hummingbird Scholarship, and the Officer Robert J. Parker's Memorial Scholarship. Cody Lawton. Cody will be attending SUNY Oswego for education. Cody is the recipient of the Dave Lennon Scholarship as well as the Chaz Merritt Culture Award. Kayla Leach. Kayla will pursuing a career in EMT training. Joanne LeVay. Joanne will be attending Cuga Community College for Liberal Arts. Joanne is the recipient of the Cuga Community College Presidential Scholarship. 
Alexa Lucier. Alexa will be attending Tompkins Cortland Community College for Recreation Exercise Science. Tiffany Macri. Tiffany will be attending Cuga Community College for Adolescent Education. Abigail Mainville. Abby will be attending St. Bonaventure University for Adolescent Education for Social Studies. Abby is the recipient of the Brian Dodge Memorial Scholarship, as well as the Oswego County Soil and Water Hank Kosselman Memorial Scholarship. Madison Majeski. Madison will be entering the workforce. Benjamin Malazuski. Benjamin will be attending Cuga Community College for business. Rebecca Manwaring. Rebecca will be attending Cuga Community College for business. Rebecca is the recipient of the Cuga Community College Presidential Scholarship, the Fulton Savings Bank Highest Rank Scholarship to Cuga Community College, as well as the New York State Academic Excellence Scholarship. Caden Marsh. Caden will build a career as an electrician. Hannah Marvin. Hannah will be going to trade school for Master Tattoo Institute and Body Piercing and Tattoo Art. Gianna Mastro. Gianna will be attending Cuga Community College for Health Education. Matthew McCarty. Matthew will be going into the workforce as a Mason. George McLaughlin III. George will be attending trade school at OCM BOCES for HVAC industry. De Hilton Mendez Vasquez will be entering the workforce. Hannah Miller. Hannah will be going into the workforce in the culinary arts. Matthew Miller. Matthew will be entering the workforce. Mackenzie Minor. Mackenzie will be attending Cayuga Community College for early childhood education. Mary Jane Mullaney. Mary Jane will be attending Lemoyne College for Criminology. Logan Murphy. Logan will be entering the workforce in the Electrical Union. Lucas Nelson. Lucas will be attending SUNY Geneseo for Accounting. Lucas is the recipient of the Fulton Savings Bank Excellence in Accounting Award. Ariel Nesbitt. Ariel will be entering the workforce. Ryan Nichols. Ryan will be attending Cayuga Community College for Mechanical Engineering. Ryan is a recipient of the Frederick G. Rumsey Scholarship. Sarah Nichols. Sarah will be attending Cayuga Community College for Childhood Education. Sarah is the recipient of the Jamison Campbell Memorial Award, the Cayuga Community College Presidential Scholarship, as well as the Rennie of Oswego County Carol McLaughlin Scholarship. Casey Noble will be going into the restaurant industry. Channing Noel. Channing will be attending Nazareth College for nursing. Channing is a proud recipient of the Francis A. Boyce and Janine M. Boyce Healthcare Scholarship and the Ross and Francis A. Marabito Healthcare Scholarship. Giovanni Noel. Giovanni will be attending the workforce. Ethan Oakley. Ethan will be attending the workforce.
Landon Oakley. Landon, Landon will be attending the workforce for manufacturing industry. Kieran O'Hanlon. Kieran will be attending trade school for welding and pipe fitting. Denea Orr. Denea will be attending Lemoyne College for English and Environmental Studies. Denea is a proud recipient of the CNY Community Foundation Pool Scholarship Award, the Danielle Ray Kunzweiler Gustina Memorial Award, the Helen and Walter Lysick Prize for Scholarship and Moral Leadership. Jolie Painter. Jolie will be attending Cayuga Community College for Criminal Justice. She is a proud recipient for, of the Women of the Rotary of Fulton Award. Madison Palmer. Madison will be attending SUNY Oswego for education. Summer Parker. Summer will be attending the workforce for Anima Shelter. Apolina Perez Stambaugh. Apolina will be attending Onondaga Community College for Criminal Justice. Jasmine Perry. Jasmine will be joining the workforce for beauty industry. Courtney Pierce. Courtney will be attending Hartwick College for business and pre-law, and she'll be swimming. Reese Pierce. Reese will be attending Cayuga Community College for information technology. Damian Piper. Damian will be attending Onondaga Community College for criminal justice. Grace Porter. Grace will be attending Houghton College for theology. Gabriella Raponi. Gabriella will be joining the workforce in real estate. Jerry Recor Jr. Jerry will be joining the workforce for construction industry or safe life. Donovan Reed. Donovan will be joining the workforce for music production. Nicholas Regensberger. Nicholas will be entering the workforce for Davis Standard. Caden Reynolds. Caden will be entering Universal Technical Institute for Diesel Mechanics. He is a proud recipient of the Ellen Van Osdal Memorial Award. Elias Reynolds. He will be entering Finger Lakes Community College for Environmental Conservation. He is a proud recipient of the Oswego County Soil and Water Hank Kosselman Memorial Scholarship. Kalina Ripley will be entering the workforce for Youth Works. Naomi Roberts. Naomi will be entering the workforce in customer service. Madeline Rupert. Madeline will be attending Syracuse University for Inclusive U program. Isaac Sandoval Albuja will be attending SUNY Oswego for psychology. He is a proud recipient of the Rosa Papalardo Chemis Memorial Scholarship. Olivia Saunderson. Olivia will be attending Cayuga Community College for Business and Marketing. Jeremy Sawyer. Jeremy will be attending SUNY College of Environmental Sciences and Forestry, the Ecosystem Biology. Aiden Skirinji will be entering the workforce for construction industry. Maria Schlosser. Maria will be attending trade school for the culinary arts. She is a proud recipient of the Fulton Teachers Association Challenge Award. 
Ariana Schmier will be entering the workforce. Nicholas Schremp will be attending Clarkson University for mechanic mechanical engineering. Joshua Seelman will be entering the workforce for construction industry. Savannah Sellen will be attending Cayuga Community College for nursing. She is a proud recipient of the Cayuga Community College Presidential Scholarship and the Ellen Van Asdal Memorial Award. Dakota Sibley. Dakota will be entering the workforce for car detail. Daisy Simmons will be entering Cayuga Community College for Criminology. Mallory Smart. Mallory will be attending Cayuga Community College for Childhood Education. She is the proud recipient of the Jameson Campbell Memorial Award. Thomas Smith. Thomas will be entering the workforce. Trevor Stacy. Trevor will be entering the workforce for landscaping industry. Allison Standish. Allison will be attending Geneva College for business administration. She is a proud recipient of the Oswego County Educational Secretary's Scholarship Award. Jacob Stasi Martin. Jacob will be entering the workforce in psychology. Kaylee Stevens. Kaylee will be entering the workforce. Rebecca Stone. Rebecca will be attending Edinburgh University for graphic design and animation, as well as being a member of the swim team. Destiny Stotts. Destiny will be attending SUNY Oswego for sociology. Charles Stoutinger. Charles will be attending SUNY Oswego for human development. Charles is the recipient of the William Quirk Memorial Award for Achievement in Theater, as well as the Jacqueline Vincicara Stewart Memorial Award for Achievement in Musical Theater. Christina Talents. Christina will be attending SUNY Oneonta for fashion merchandising. Christina is a recipient of the CNY Community Foundation Pool Scholarship Award as well as the George Gaylord Chauncey Scholarship. Jacob Tanner. Jacob will be entering the career field in auto and diesel mechanics. Cadence Taylor. Cadence will be entering the workforce and continuing to take care of her children. Curtis Taylor. Curtis will be attending Onondaga Community College for Mechanical Engineering. Jesse Taylor. Jesse will be entering the workforce in the automobile industry. Tanner Tetro. Tanner will be attending Cuga Community College for Information Technology. Riley Thompson. Riley will be attending Herkimer County Community College for Engineering Science. Philip Tomarchio. Philip will be attending Cuyahoga Community College to study history. Emily Trenier. Emily will be attending SUNY Brockport to study English and Creative Writing. Mason Trumbull will be entering the workforce. Mm -hmm. Robert Voss. Robert will be attending Onondaga Community College to study science engineering. 
Dylan Waldron. Dylan will be attending SUNY Oswego to study technology education. Dylan is the recipient of the Brian Dodge Memorial Scholarship, the Fulton Athletic Boosters Carl Barton Scholarship, as well as the Carl F. Rowland Memorial Award. John Wallace IV. John will be entering the workforce in welding. Lindsay Warner. Lindsay will be attending Onondaga Community College for Surgical Technician. Cameron Waugh. Cameron will be attending SUNY Potsdam to study the visual arts. Cameron is the recipient of the Marion Green Scholarship as well as the Larry Mitchelson Fine Art Award. Aiden will be going to the Universal Metal Works. Sarah Wells. Sarah will be attending Cuba Community College for Physical Therapy. Bailey Whalen. Bailey will be returning to GRB for further education. Frederick White IV. Frederick will be going to trade school and lineman school. Trey White. Trey will enter a career as a diesel mechanic at Longley Dodge. Genesis Whitfield. Genesis will be attending SUNY Morrisville for criminal justice. Solis Whitney. Solis will be attending Cuga Community College to study psychology. Alyssa Wicks. Alyssa will be entering the workforce as a nursing aide. Damian Wilbur. Damian will be entering the electrical engineering industry. Kendall Williamson. Kendall will be returning to GRB for further education. Jacob Wilson. Jacob will be attending Cuga Community College for nursing. 